boy. Um, so, soft and quiet. Uh, this is a tough watch. This is definitely probably one of the toughest I've watched in a while. And it's probably going on this list of films that I only really need to see once. And I'll be honest with you, you, you should totally watch it. But it's definitely only going to be a film that you watch once. I guarantee it. It's, it's very upsetting. It's very, it's very unnerving. It's very unpleasant. A lot of uns. There's a lot of uns that revolve around soft and quiet. So, essentially, this was a film that I think I discovered uh, from TikTok reels. Uh, sometimes I just, I'll see these things that pop up. There'll be scenes from movies, and I'll go. Where's, where, what is what movie is this? I need to see what the rest of it is. I need to see the resolution or something about it. There was either a scene that somebody posted or they had posted a recommendation of like, oh, you know, this is a horror movie you should watch, you know, if you've never heard of it before. It premiered at uh, the South by Southwest Music Festival. Um, well, it's not just a music festival, but it's a festival essentially that kind of promotes, you know, films, music, all that kind of stuff. So it premieres there and then eventually it gets this sort of, you know, national release uh, i don't believe there's any real numbers that you could find about it i mean if you did a little bit of digging you could uh, but i think really what it was meant for is meant for sort of more of a, a streaming quality thing you know a video on demand uh esque release because i don't think this would do very well in theaters this is very much a sort of pseudo experimental but not necessarily all that well it's one of those films that's it's shot in one continuous scene you know, you. I think Silent House was like that. Then you had, uh, there's a scene in a Tony Ja movie that's like that. Not the whole movie, just a scene. It's a very uncommon way to, to present a movie. But it's becoming more common where I think a lot of other movies and stuff are sort of picking it up. You know, there are some television shows that pick it up for like one episode. They'll do a whole thing where the camera will look like it almost never cuts. But then it'll eventually go to a commercial. You know, so it does, but then it doesn't. And this is one of those films that it is one continuous shot. And what it essentially is about, it's about these women of like the the white supremacist movement and how they have a meeting. And the meeting eventually leads to them kind of taking their words and their kind of praise of pushing forward the white agenda that leads to just them doing some really, really horrible things. So you build up some backstory when it comes to the characters they get introduced to because you get uh, you get them going into a store. It's a small town. So what happens in a small store in a small town? You run into people in the small town, whether you like them or not. So they run into this, uh, I believe she was Asian. They run into this Asian uh, sister's. One of them to which is the reason that one of the main girls' brother is in jail because she claims that the brother raped her and the white woman does not believe that story, but the brother's in jail, so it's obviously been proven true, but she still blames this, this Asian woman for putting her brother in jail and, of course, it leads into a slew of racial slurs and them talking to them like, you know, you shouldn't even be in this country. How dare you think you can do this and that and the third. It's just very uncomfortable. It just keeps getting worse because what happens is they've been hyping themselves up so much because you sit there and you listen to them for the first 20 minutes of the film is them all talking in this meeting room when they're talking about how, like, all these other races are inferior all of these other people need to just, you know, bow to the white race. And here they are. They're all riled up. Of course, they start getting drunk and they say, hey, I know where this Asian girl lives. Let's go to her house and, like, make it look like it was robbed. And, of course, what's going to happen? They're all going to go and then they're going to get caught, which they do because the sisters come back to the house. So they don't want to get arrested. So then they kidnap the two. You know, they... I don't even know if I should really get into this because it's it's just very unsettling. They do some really horrible, horrible things to these sisters. And it's just, 
It's a shocking film, but to me, it's it needs to be a film that you do watch because there's an unfortunate reality when it comes to this is that there's there's women out there, maybe not that would do stuff to this extreme. This is definitely sort of an over-exaggeration to the idea of what racism can eventually lead to. Although maybe you, there might be a couple things that might actually happen in real life, but there is a very alarming sense of realism to it that this is an actual reality for a lot of people on both sides there are people that really do believe in the views that are portrayed by the actors who play all the white women and then there's people who are of the other cultures that they are demeaning that also deal with these people on a regular day basis so it's definitely a film that now is the perfect time for it to sort of make a name for itself and kind of make the circulation of being known I think it's reviewed very well. Like I said, I don't have numbers for what its budget was or anything like that. But I do know that it's reviewed very well. It's very highly recommended for a lot of people. But to me, this is sort of on the level of Audition. Audition is a 1999 uh, Japanese, Korean film, Japanese film, Korean film. I think it's Japanese. So it's a 1999 Japanese film, which again, is a very unsettling film that you need to watch but you should only watch it once. And Soft and Quiet is definitely worth a sit through, but just really prepare yourself if you're a person that really gets triggered by the a lot of the current events that have been going on for a few years and continue to go on today because they, it's going to be more than likely a triggering film for a lot of people.